Only five clues remain on the board in the Jeopardy round. Let's go with the double for 200. Film in which Mr. Applegate causes New York baseball team to lose the pennant. Damn Yankees. Yes. I'm in the 3800, by the way. Uh, Ernest Hemingway for 500. After Fidel Castro came to power, Hemingway left Cuba and purchased a house in this state. I believe it was Idaho. It is Idaho. Uh, the devil for 300. Someone recklessly bold with a devil may care attitude. Daredevil. And I can say that about uh, Travis Pastrana. He's completely, he's went from a complete, uh, I should say, okay racer to complete daredevil jerk. Can tr you can quote, quote me on that. 400. He's up against the devil in Stephen Vincent Benet's short story. It was Daniel Webster. Let's look at the last clue. A person who champions a cause purely for the sake of argument. Devil's advocate. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm at 5,300, Trish has 1,000, Barrel at 600, and Barrel will pick first in Double Jeopardy, Mark Twain, Soup Song, World Flags, Full Sun, 60, Children Only, for Pete's sake, Children Only for 200. This film rating means all ages admitted. Gee. Mm-hmm. Uh, Children Only for 400. Jimmy and Roy hosted this group of kids in the 50s. The Mouseketeers. Uh, children only 600. A children's doctor. A pediatrician. Oh. Children only 800. Teddy bears are named after him. Teddy Roosevelt. Yes. Uh, 1,000. Children only. Begun in 1939, this sports program is now required to accept girls. The... Uh, YNCA. No. Oh well. Little League. Oh, that's right. Uh, Mark Twain for 200. So this river was a source of Twain's stories and Twain's name. The Mississippi. Correct. 400 Mark Twain. Actor who impersonated him in Mark Twain tonight. Hal Holbrook. Spelled his last name wrong. Oh, that's 
no help. Beryl, are you going to get this right? No, you're not. Hall Brook. B-R-O-O-K. Uh, Mark Twain 600. The True Murderer in the Adventures of Tom Sawyer. What are Pennsylvania? Injun Joe? Yes. Um, Pete's sake for for Pete's sake for two hundred. His brothers are Flossy, Monty, and Cottontail. Eat their rabbit. Yes, it's Peter Rabbit. For Pete's sake, for four. He ran away to Never Never Land to escape growing up. Peter Pan. One of the final steps is pouring this two word. Prosperous and alloy. About 2,975 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, uh, for Pete's sake, 600. He was TV's Columbo. Peter Falk. For Pete's sake, for eight. A commissioner of the National Football League. Pete Russell. Yes. One thousand for Pete's sake. Well, there's one of the Daily Doubles. I'll go for seventeen hundred. Two of their biggest hits are Puff the Magic Dragon and Blowing in the Wind. Who is Webster? Right. Oh, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Yep. Ten thousand dollars for me. World flags, two hundred. Old Glory is the nickname for the flag of this country. The United States. Yes. World flags for four. This tiny country's flag bears the keys of St. Peter and a papal tiara. Oh, I don't know. The Vatican. Uh, Mark Twain for 800. In the 1949 film, this crooner played the Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Bing Crosby. Mark Twain 1000. Where the story of the famous jumping frog contest took place. Calaveras County. That's right. Let's look at one more clue. Uh, soup's on for two. Wacky comedian whose friends include White Fang and Black Tooth. Oh, that's no help. Oh! Soupy Sales? Oh wow, how did I come up with that? Well, I don't know. But we'll stop. But for now, we're going to stop for part two, and I'll see you guys for the last part.